Oh gosh, what is that? That's a big fish. Is that a red ear? Where's that bobber? There it is. Oh, he's already there. Yup. Oh yeah. Oh, get, oh, oh shoot. Oh that shoot. Was, that was so fast. She is hooked up with the big one. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay. We are out here on the lake this afternoon in the trusty old canoe, and we're back after some panfish. We're gonna try to catch some bluegill, some red ear, maybe some hybrids. I was driving around out here on the lake last night with my spotlight, and I found this spot right here in front of us, and looked like there was a bunch of beds, and looked like they had fish on. I'm not exactly sure, and the only way we're gonna find out is to toss um, some worms, some small jigs out there, and see if the, and see if they are there. If they are there, it's gonna get nasty really quick because there was a, it looked like a bunch of potholes, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, and I'm really excited about this. So if y'all are excited to join along with us on today's bluegill and red ear fishing mission, do us a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's have an afternoon, Jay, of smashing some bluegill. Ready to go? Let's do it. The bait of choice for me today is gonna to be a nice, messy, juicy worm. I'm gonna put it on my hook, and I think Cole's gonna throw a jig. Yeah. The non-messy way. Yeah, I'm gonna start by tossing this little jig around just so we can have our bases covered. It's not focusing in on it. Focus, focus. Oh well, y'all can't see that jig anyway. It's my little secret bait. So <laughs> it's your secret bait. It's my secret bait. I'm gonna toss it around so I can catch them on that, and if they only eat the worms, then I'm gonna swap onto the worm. And if they only really eat the jigs, which they should eat the worms, I'm gonna get that because then I don't have to rebate. Right. Yep. Well, the worms sound better than crickets. Last time we used crickets. Yeah. So, worms, you can catch like three or four fish on each worm. But go ahead. The spot that I saw was like right in front of us. So, just go ahead and see if there's one out there. Might as well. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's on there. He's on there. Oh, oh gosh. Shoot. He smashed it. I missed it. Okay, that's definitely the spot. He got my worm. What? How are you rigging those worms up? <laughs> I guess I didn't have it on there very good. We're just talking about how they last the longest, and he lasted one fish, or not even a <laughs> not fish. Not even a fish. I bet I'll get him this time. So we can get some bobber down action. Where's that bobber? There it is. Oh, he's already there. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. That's the juice. Oh. Is yeah. that a good one? Oh, that's a stud. Look how fat that one is. <laughs> Woo! Flip him up in here. Yes. Hey, buddy. I knew it. I knew those were active beds. That's a nice one. That's our Heck first yeah. keeper. All right, we'll put our first fish here in the live basket. Toss them over the edge. I need to tie this to our canoe so it doesn't float off. All right, and we're good to go. And we got our first fish in there. Let's see how many more we can get. Jay's already hooked up again. Oh, oh that's a giant. That feels like a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, he's so bad. That's a monster. Get out of there. That is, that is a, a dang good one. Is like. that a bluegill? Oh, it's a big hybrid, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? What a stud. Yes. Oh goodness. That fish is massive. Oh goodness. Check it out. Oh my gosh. That's like bigger than the one you caught in the last video. I know. Look at that slab. Biggest one of the year for me. That thing is huge. <laughs> Dang. It's <is> very big. <laughs> they are smashing those worms. That's exciting. I didn't know if those guys were gonna be there or not. Now if we can get some true red ear, that'd be Ooh, epic. Yeah. That thing is absolutely beautiful, Jay. Let's get him in the basket and let's get back out there. Here you go. Nice right, peeing. I'm gonna let him pee on you. Hey, look, Jay. look, Jay. Oh. Look, Jay. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure everybody here that Brim fishes has done that to their buddy at least a dozen yeah. times. Well, just wait. Your time's coming. How long will it take? Three. Two. Two. Ooh. It's kind of a slow there countdown. Okay. Oh, a little bit smaller. Yeah. Okay, they're not all monsters. Yeah, he definitely was not fighting anything like that last fish. I know, but that's still a quality fish though. I mean, oh, yeah. you can keep a whole mess of them like that. Beautiful, beautiful bluegill. Hey! Oh gosh. <laughs> he was peeing. <laughs> I was gonna try to get him to pee on you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we'll send him back. All right, I wanna toss my jig out there and see if I can get one. Okay. All right, here you go. My little secret jig. I'm about to get wrecked. That's done. As soon as I hit the water. Smashed it. Can't tell how big he is though. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. not bad. Not bad. Oh no, that's a nice one. But we've kept the ones we've kept are bigger than this, so we're gonna try to just keep with the 
model that we've already established in our fish basket. But that's a good keeper size bluegill. Oh yeah. We don't need a ton of these, so we'll just send him back. Fire this jig back out there. He bit it as soon as it hit the water. I'm sure y'all saw that, but let's me get another one. Whoosh. Oh, oh my that's gosh. That's him. That might be a hybrid. Oh yeah. I think it's a hybrid. <laughs> it's a big, big, big mean bluegill. What do you think? I think it's a hybrid. Really? What's your guess, guys? Hybrid. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, it's the year of the hybrids out here, guys. Look at that fat belly. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish. That's incredible. What a stud. Can't be mad at that. That guy is definitely going in the fish basket. Let's go. <laughs> beautiful fish. Whoop, 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 whoop. Here we go. Now we got three. Three fat bellies. Okay. One more cast and we'll swap. Ha! Toast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we got a few pads out here in front of us we're trying to keep them out of so that's why we're kind of reeling fast we don't like them to get dug up down in there and then we lose them yeah but there yeah. we go another solid little bluegill can't be mad at that see you on a little secret jig basically you guys you see that if you know you know all right jay so i know the folks at home are wondering what exactly is your secret technique to slaying bluegill out here this time of year um okay well here it is i'll show you i just Cast it out there. All right. I give it three to five seconds. Oh gosh. And then I reel them in. I don't even think that was three seconds. <laughs> I think that was also like two seconds. That's another keeper. That's a stud. Okay, one to five seconds. <laughs> one to five seconds. Got it. If you don't catch a fish in one to five seconds, you better recast. Yeah. Okay. So all y'all at home, take notes. Write it down in your notepad, so you'll know whenever you find some bluegill. Ow. Jay's way is the money way catching these big old slabs Money. Oh gosh. Gosh, don't pay attention to how I'm holding them though. Goodness. Yeah, her grip strength is not well, looking so good right now. I just needed to let more line out. I was trying to show him the fish. <laughs> there we go. That's there better. he is. There he is. That's a Georgia monster right there. Oh yeah. Three pounder. Four and a half pounder. Twelve and a half pounder. <laughs> a bacon. Bacon. A one. A two. Oh shoot. A three. He's there. He's there. There we go. See? Three seconds. <laughs> Three solid seconds is all it takes. Woo! That's nice. I wonder how many are over there. Like, all jokes aside, I think that that is a pretty well-established little brim nest. I think so, too. And we are on, because as soon as you hit the money spot, they're just smoking. And that's how it should be. When you find a bed of bluegill, it's not supposed to be hard work. Mm -mm. It's supposed to just be like this. It's fun. It's relaxing. And you get these tasty treats out of it. But he's a little bit smaller than the other ones. Yeah. So. I mean, not very much smaller. Not but. very much, but... We'll let him go. If we kept all these fish, we'd have a hundred to clean, and that would not be fun. Not for me. I'm also just having fun watching you catch these guys. And this bobber go down. Look, Rip. Go. Oh. Look at the jump. It's too easy. Oh, gosh. Oh. It's easier than hand grabbing them. It's easier than fishing out of a barrel. Yeah, it is. Nice. Golly, oh, you're like 0 for 6 handling these guys. I don't know. They're don't supercharged. Know they... Oh, well, I just did it too. They're supercharged. Yeah, they're crazy. Got to keep them honest with a little secret jig. Oh, heads up. Whoa, <laughs> watch it. There you gotcha. go. Third time's the charm, baby. What is this? Another nice, oh, another big blue deal. Oh, wow. Another good one. Look at that. Look at that. Heck yeah. Can't be mad at that. These dudes are really upset. I'm not sure what their problem is. I know. They are feisty. And it's warm out here. They're kind of like slippery. They're kind of sticky. Nice one. Throw him in there. How many we got? I really want to keep a good count. We got four and we got five. Three bluegill, two hybrids. Not going over 10 for dang sure. Not going over 10. We don't need that many. We just need a few for us to enjoy for dinner. Oh gosh, I got a knot in my line, but we got a fish. We'll bacon. Oh, in. it looks like a bacon. Oh yeah, it's another <laughs> big bluegill. I mean, he's just pancaking across the surface. Ooh. Ooh. I cast it, I got a little bit of a loopy little wind knot thing in my reel. I was like, oh, that's not good. But then that guy, I think he might've straightened it out, honestly. That's another good one. I love this. I love this. You know, like we said in the last bluegill fishing video, we've been kind of behind the eight ball as far as catching these guys go this year. We're really late. Like normally we're catching these guys in April and it's definitely 
middle of May now, but we are finally getting on some, which is really good. It's a relief because we were worried we weren't gonna be able to get on a good mess one this year. Ah! There we go. There's six bad boys in there. Okay. There you go. There he is. There's over to the right just a little bit. They're really particular. But there's another beauty Ooh. bluegill. The Lepomus macroquirus. <laughs> that. Not as big as my last one, but still a really good one. Like 99% of the anglers I hear put those guy in their cooler. Oh yeah. For sure. But we're gonna throw them back in the lake. Maybe they can come here and get them later. <laughs> So we've been sitting here messing with these fish for a little bit. We've caught about 20 in total now. We've just been throwing them all back, but I think it's time for us to catch another keeper. Oh yeah. Oh, there he is. Come on, baby. Is that big one? Wow, he's swimming right oh, toward me. Yeah, he's a good one. Nice one. Go make the bag. Oh yeah. The basket. Oh yeah. That chubby. Look at that. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful bluegill. And then the action's been like this this whole time. We, yeah. We've just been just Having a blast catching Ever these guys. Ever recast. Ever recast. We're wearing them out. Yep. So <laughs> let me take him, put him in the basket, and uh, let's catch another one. There we go. Smash. There we Smash go. Smash city. I just needed to cast a little bit farther out. It's a little hybrid. Oh. Or is it a red ear? Eh, kind of hard to tell with that one. I think it's, it's a, a I think I think it's a hybrid. It looks like a hybrid. It doesn't really look like a red ear, but it could be like a small, like dark, puny oh red ear. Oh, see ya! <laughs> snow coming him. So Jay and I've been pretty much just taking turns since we got out here, but we're gonna go fish from at the same time and see which one of these baits outperforms the other, the live worm or the jig. I, I think that this one here will outfish you three to one. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> oh shoot! Hang on now. I didn't cast in the right spot. I think that that spot's kind of done. I think the bed is even out here in front of us to our left. Hmm. We've kind of been casting at the same spot. I think that there is some room to explore. I'm gonna cast over here. Yeah, they're out there. There we go. Oh, shoot. There we go. Oh. They're out there. Oh, oh, shoot. Double. Here we go. That mine's bigger. We're one to one right now. They're actually about the same size. Those might be the oh. pipsqueaks. I mean, they're not pipsqueaks, but they're just kind of small. They're smaller than average we've been catching. Yeah, ow! So I'm tossing back. She's gonna jack around with that one. I gotta get to three to one on her. Oh gosh. I like let, got him unhooked and then I rehooked him. He like jumped and rehooked himself. That's unfortunate because I got another one. What? And he feels small too. These are the small boys over there. Where's the big boys? I want another big hybrid. That would cap yeah. off this little mission. There's two. Can we get three to one? Oh, personal problems. Catching up on you, Jay. There he is. Three to one. Oh, oh she's got one, too. Oh, I got a big her. one. Do I got a big one. Really? Yeah. Oh, big bluegill. Mm. Yeah, look at the size of that one. Wow. That's the biggest bluegill we caught today. For sure. Look at that. He's like bigger than my wow, hand. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that. That bluegill is bigger than my hand, or as big. That is sick. And he smashed the jig. See, Jay? The jig. I performed the live worm three to one. No, it didn't. <laughs> I was also speed fishing though. I was I was fishing like race car driver just then. This guy's going in the basket. You got one? Oh, how big is that? That looks like a whale. Yeah. Yeah. He's not that big. He had a big wake. He did. He looked serious. Good one. These are some feisty blue that's for sure. Yeah, I like that we got a new zone figured out. That might be the actual spot. To be honest. Oh, he's on there. 
Dang. Dang. Oh, he, looks he looks kinda heavy. Nah. I mean he's a good one. He's I mean that's a that is a straight up yeah, that's keeper nice bluegill any day of the week except for what's today? Friday. The thirteenth. <laughs> Today's Friday the thirteenth, guys. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> we ain't experiencing any bad luck yet, but the day is still young. Oh actually it's not. It's about the end of the day. Sun's gonna set in like an hour. <laughs> Ooh. Get up here. There you go. They're all pretty good. I mean, let's be real. They're all, they're not monsters, but they're all good quality fish that you just would be happy with any day. That's a good one. How many more do you want to catch? I'm going to catch one more good one. Okay. Oh, there's a decent one. Get one more good keeper. Something slightly bigger than this guy. Still a good one though. Oh, that's him. Oh god. He's coming right towards me. Eh, he's not as big as I thought, but that's a great one. Not the big hybrid. Oh, you're holding out for that big hybrid, huh? Kind of. Still a good one. It, look at them, they're just like snapping their jaw. Like, no, they're so mean today. I don't know, they're acting like sharks. They're acting like piranhas. Hey, that's that's it. That's the comp. They're acting like piranhas. Ooh, I think that might be him, JJ. I think I got him. Oh, he's stuck in the pads. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's him. Wow. Look at that. Nice one. And he choked it. Chubby. Look at that. Choked it. Got some grass on him. I think that's going to be our final keeper of the day. That's what we were looking for. Really solid, healthy, thick male bluegill. And that jig is doing it to him. What a nice fish. All right, we just caught our last good keeper, but I want to try to catch one more fish, so I'm going to cast it out there. Hopefully, catch a big one. What do you think? I believe in you. You caught a bunch of big ones today, but one more would just be the icing on the top of the cake. And you're in a pretty good spot. You caught a lot right there, but have you caught them all? This will probably let you know. You got a nice, fresh piece of worm on there. Ooh. If they don't bite it, it's because there's just nothing there, because you caught them all. Because you're a savage. You yeah. big boss. Oh, man, he's running. Is it a bluegill or a hybrid? I think it's a bluegill. Nice. He was fighting like a bluegill. You know, you can't leave a nest of bluegill like this without catching one on your last cast. Right. That would be unlucky on Friday the 13th. <laughs> Look at that. That's a stud. Oh, yeah. But we'll send him back. Maybe next year he'll be twice as big. All right. See you later, buddy. Okay, so our plan of attack today to catch these bluegill and red ear is pretty simple. We're just going down the bank. We're in really shallow water, so we're using our polarized glasses to kind of see in the water and see if we can actually see those beds. Um, those beds underwater look like just big, round, dark craters. So if you can see a whole bunch of them piled up, you know you've landed on the jackpot. And I think I might have found a little spot right here. It doesn't have a whole lot of them. I can't really tell for sure. But I'm going to pitch this little cricket out there and see if there's one out there. We'll know really quickly if those are beds or not because they'll just smash it. There he is. <laughs> Told you guys. It's really simple. Just going down the bank, looking for craters, and there we go. We got ourselves a nice little bluegill. It's not quite the size caliber we're looking for, so we'll toss him back, but hopefully there'll be some big ones down there with him. So we'll send him back, get rebaited, and we'll start working this area over and so we can find some nice ones to put in the cooler. Oh gosh. Oh he oh he came he got it, he got it, he got it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> We're on them, guys. Well, there we go. It appears that we have indeed found ourselves an active bluegill bed. He's not super big, but hopefully there'll be some bigger ones down there. We'll just toss him back in there and get back after it. We kind of pulled up on it really quick, and we made a big old dust cloud, which isn't ideal, but um, I think it'd be all right. And it looks like there's more of this going on up ahead. Oh, dang. It got smashed. Yeah, there's definitely some fish on there. But hopefully they're not all small bluegill. Got him. Oh. God, that's a bigger one. There we go. There we go. That is going to be our first keeper right there. 
Heck yeah, guys, look at that. He's upside down, but that is a nice one. He's got those dark spawning colors. It's a great way to start. So we got this cooler here, some ice. We'll toss him in there, get back after it. Oh, oh, it's a gar. Oh, I got a fish. Another nice one. A big old gar came up right behind us. We got smoked by this nice, chunky bluegill. There we go. Nice second keeper. Put him here with his buddy. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of steps in on this boat today, Jay. Oh yeah. I got a feeling Jay's about to get smoked. She's in the zone. Oh, oh. there oh, he is. Go. Oh, that's a nicer one. Oh yeah. There we go. Get up in here. Yes. They are so pretty. They are pretty. I love when they get those spawning colors on them. Solid. Solid. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Oh, there we go. Another nice one. <laughs> Man, that fish is up in so skinny water up there. It's only like a foot or less and i just seen a little dark little blob looks like a bed and oh jay's got one too oh yeah oh these are bigger those are bigger oh. there's not very many potholes right there but they got fish on them there you go our first official daily double of the daily day double. and those are both keepers whoa there's one and two and two pitch back up in there see if there's any more chilling oh he's on there it's so shallow that's insane it's as soon as it's the water. You can't be mad at that. He's a little bit smaller. Not much smaller, but we'll throw him back. I'm actually going to get some a little bit bigger than, than the ones we've already caught. But the ones we caught are solid keepers, though. Whoop. Get smoked. He's on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's a stud. Oh, yeah. It's a really nice one. Woo. Can't be mad when they're biting like that. That's another beautiful bluegill. <laughs> Good sized one, too. They're just smashing these crickets. I'm telling you, we both need to shallow up even more because it's only a foot deep out there. Yeah. How many, is it, how many is in there now? Six? Five? Five. Five? Five good ones. Five good ones. Who thinks we can make it six right here? Six good ones. Boom! Six good ones. Six good ones. <laughs> right through the lily pads. That might be my biggest one I've caught. He didn't fight that hard, but look at that. Just a thick, beautiful stud male bluegill we look forward to this kind of fishing every single year because bluegill i think they're probably our favorite fish to eat what do you say Jay? oh yeah they're I definitely love cooking them in the skillet oh my gosh they're so good so got a load up on these boys we got some catfish last week got some crappie this winter and now we're getting the bluegill right now jay lost her cricket so i'm getting back up in here she's hunting it down they're chasing crickets over here <laughs> uh-oh He's on there. Oh, that's a stud. That's a stud. That's a big one. Oh, wow. That's a big one. He swam out of the lily pads. <laughs> I wonder how long these fish have been here. Like, this is our first time. Oh, it's a big diamondback. Where? Big diamondback. Right there. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, one Philly to cricket. <laughs> There's one I just caught, and Jay just caught hers. He ate it off the surface. I think I lost my sinker again. Are you serious? He ate the cricket off the surface. That was cool. That's another good one. Yo, ah, how cool is, is that? Okay, there's mine. And there's mine. And there's Jay's. There's our catch so far. The only thing is, I wish this boat had some power poles because we are spinning all around. We don't want to spook these fish. We're kind of getting up on them. And it's so shallow, I don't want to like murk the water up with the trolling motor. So, we're going to figure out something. We'll try to pull the trolling motor up like this. He's back up in here on top of these lily pads. Because the fish are literally 10 feet behind us now. Eat my cricket. You might be running out of fish. I'm telling you, that little that nest of fish right there is not very big. I see like five or six craters down there. Oh, got him. <laughs> and I think we've caught five or six already. So some of them might be double nesting. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's some spots we're not seeing, but... Another nice good keeper. We got crickets running all over the boat. Get him, Jake. <laughs> oh, you can give me a cricket? Yeah, I got one. Heck yeah, that's good bait service right there. 
Who thinks Jason to catch one? There he is. He's there. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Had a little hesitation. Oh no, we're in the oh. lily pad. There he Whoa. comes. Ooh. Oh, nice. Alrighty. Nice. The slab queen's back at it. Back up to her dirty deeds. Smashing these bluegill. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Oops. Another solid bluegill. I think we'll throw him back. We've got a good mini from this spot. We'll probably, unless we catch one that's like really good sized. I think we about caught everything we're gonna catch in this spot. So we're gonna start making our way up this way really soon in case we start, unless we start just smoking them here again, but I'm just not seeing that happening. It's just not enough stuff right there, but there's a lot more good spots up this way. And I'm sure we'll find another place stacked up with some bluegill. All right, guys, so we have a little bit of catching up to do. So after we left that spot where we were catching those bluegill at, we went around the bank for like another two and a half, maybe even three hours, and really didn't get on much of anything after. We caught a few little ones, and it was honestly kind of disappointing. We covered plenty of ground to find another nest of bluegill, but and it, just, it was hot. Yeah, but it just didn't happen, <laughs> and it was really scorching hot. And I think that probably had a lot to do with our um, lack of success. We went out in the yeah. very middle of the day on the hottest day of the year, and um, it's not really prime bluegill fishing conditions. So we packed it in, we headed back to the house, but we're out here now, gonna try to do a little bit of bank fishing. We're gonna see if we can catch some here from the bank. We've caught a few here in the past, and uh, we have plenty, I guess, that we could eat tonight, but we we're hoping to get just a few extra fish. I think we have maybe about eight or nine, maybe 10 in the cooler right now. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to get a few bonus fish. So we're gonna cast around and uh, see if we can link up with a couple of big ones. Let's get started. Let's do it. Okay, got my fresh cricket rigged up, making the first cast here from the bank. Let's see if we can find something hanging out over here. Didn't really land exactly where I wanted to, but we're just gonna just fan cast around and see if they're posted up on this bank anywhere. Oh, it's gone. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, Jay. Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. Is that a red ear? <gasps> what is that? Oh, it's a hybrid. Oh, that's how big it is. It's a hybrid. Look at that. Oh, wow. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, we took the boat out and everything, covered so many miles, <laughs> and all we do is get out here on the bank, and that's our biggest one. Heck yeah. Look at that, beautiful, big hybrid. It's a hybrid between a bluegill and a red ear. That is awesome. Okay, he's definitely gonna be getting thrown in here into this cooler. That is sick. Get rebaited and get back out there. Got you got one? I got one. Oh, Jay's hooked up. That looks like a nice one. Oh yeah. Woohoo! There we go. That's bigger than the ones we were catching out there, I think. Maybe well, about the same about size. The same size. Yeah, I guess you're right. He is about the same size as the bigger ones we were catching earlier, but it's still a good keeper. Really good fish. I wanted to catch a big red here now. I know. <laughs> well, hybrid. But, uh, we're hybrid, yeah. Yeah. But a, but a red ear would be juicy. Yeah. But let's go ahead and put him in here. One, two, three. Woo! Looking good. Looking good in there. Oh, oh, that's that a stud. Like a good one. That's a stud, JJ. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Oh, oh big bluegill. Or is it a hybrid? Oh, it's a hybrid. Oh, yeah, baby. We were just talking about that. Oh, I missed one. Oh. Got him. <laughs> My bait was still in the water. We doubled up. Now, look at the size comparison between these two fish we just caught. This is like kind of borderline. I'm going to toss him back. Jay has got her really, really nice. That's a dandy. Really nice hybrid <laughs> bluegill red ear. That's the kind of fish we're after. Oh yeah. That's the fish we were hoping to catch whenever we were out in the boat. But yeah. you know, we don't care where we catch them at. We're just happy that we're finally on some. That's awesome, good job. I can't really tell if there's like an actual bed out here or if there's like just roaming around. We're kind of catching them all over the place. And normally, like you saw earlier when we were fishing on top of a bed, like as soon as the bait hits the water, that bobber's going down. It hasn't really been the case right here unless we just haven't really hit the sweet spot yet. Oh, way out there. Golly, he bit as soon as hit the water. Maybe they're chilling out there a little bit deeper. Little guy. Cute though. And I still got my cricket. I might get two fish out of this cricket. That's the only thing about using crickets is normally they're usually only good for about one fish. Oh. 
I think I found them, JJ. They're not very big over there, though. Something just happened right there. I know. I don't know what that was. Maybe it was a bass. Be cool if we get a bass to eat our cricket. <laughs> Another nice little bluegill. See ya. Gotcha. Gotcha. You're on fire. I'm smashing him. I got a little spot dialed in. Another pretty good one. We definitely kept some this size today, but I'm gonna let him go. We'll see you. Oh, that, like that looks like a good one, Jay. Oh yeah. That thing's not even moving. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a Mac Daddy bluegill. Look at the slabs on that guy. That might be the biggest one as far as oh, bluegill go. That thing is massive. <laughs> what a nice fish. <laughs> There he is. There he is. Oh, he's fighting back. Oh, yeah. Big boy's done moved in. Oh, it's another little hybrid. Oh, wow. He's not as big as I thought he was, but since he's a hybrid, it's probably why he fought more. They always fight so hard. Yeah, they fight good. Those fish are beautiful. I almost like catching them more than I like catching red ear. Beautiful fish. I'll throw him back, though. Yeah, he's not, he's not quite big enough. Yeah, big ones only now. Oh, ho, ho. oh, what's he doing? Are I think so. Oh, it's another hybrid. Look oh. at that. Yes. Dude, that is yes. awesome. Look how fat his tummy is. Look at that. Man, guys, I think we were simply just trying too hard earlier. We went all up and down the lake in our boat, couldn't find any fish, and now we're just back here on the bank and just wrecking them. It's so much fun. Look at that. Beautiful hybrid bluegill red eared sunfish. You can see he's got his tail kind of beat up. Looks like a bass, you know, when they're on the bed, just been fanning, just working on it. Look at those dark black fins just really really cool fish we yeah. love catching them but we're gonna get him off the hook and uh there might be some more moving in it's kind of it started off kind of slow when we first got here but i think that all this commotion got him excited i think it was so big oh shoot big boss is on again how's it feeling like a bluegill feeling like a bluegill feeling like a bluegill <laughs> oh yeah cute little bluegill kind of chubby oh Oh my goodness. Graceful release. He's upside down. Save him. Save him. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeet. He wanted to get back out there. <laughs> he said, I will not be going in that cooler today. Heck no. Oh, he smashed it. Golly. Smashed it. I love the variation in colors in these bluegill. They all just are just so unique in their own right. I mean, that one's so pretty. You got those light pink. Little stripes right there. Whoa. Big boss is hooked up. How big is that? Whoa! What you got? What you got? A catfish? Whoa! That thing's fighting, right? Yeah, he's fighting. Oh, another hybrid. Oh, Let's yeah. go, baby. Let's go. That's, a big <laughs> That's a dinner plate. Let me get mine off. Oh, That's a dinner plate, Jay. Woo! What a stud, Jay. That oh, thing yeah. is beautiful. He's peeing all over you. Look at that. I don't even care. It's my favorite catch of the day. <laughs> Look at that beautiful <laughs> hybrid. That thing is awesome. He's so big. That fish was fighting so hard. That's that amazing. Was fun. Yeah, if, they, if only they were all that big. We've definitely been on some beds before where they're all that big, but that is sick. Beautiful fish. Good job, Jay. We're wearing them out. Oh, ho, ho. We're wearing them out. Get up here. Yes. It's a good one. I think we'll throw him in the cooler. He's a thick boy. You gotta get them while they're here, because they could be gone tomorrow. That's for dang sure. Oh, Whoa, oh, is that him? Is. There he is. That's him, isn't it? That's him. That's Golly. a thick one. Golly, JJ. Come on, baby. Is it another hybrid? It looks like it. Damn. Yes, that's the one we needed. That's <laughs> him. That's a perfect fish to end on right there. Dang, that's a nice one. That is a nice one to end on. Beautiful, beautiful hybrid. That's the fish we've been chasing all day. We've got like six or seven of those now in the cooler with our bluegill. And I cannot wait to get these guys cut up and eat them tonight for dinner. We're gonna be eating good tonight. I know. We've been talking about this for a while. Like Jay has just been craving these fish. So I, yeah, I love eating bluegill. So we're gonna get this guy in the cooler. We're gonna get them all cleaned up here in just a moment. And uh, we'll see you guys at the clam table. All right, let's take a look at all of our fish we caught today. Here they are, we got some nice bluegill, got some nice hybrid bluegill red ear combos there. And uh, we got a nice mess, I would say. We got about, I don't know, probably under 20, probably like 17 or 18 fish in there, but a couple of nice studs in there. I mean, look at that fish. 
beautiful colors. But uh, now we are going to get to cleaning these bad boys up so we can eat for supper. Let's go. Well, don't you look all clean and spiffy. Yes, I got so hot today. Are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> well, you're in luck because we have prepared a beautiful little panfish meal. We just got some uh, blackened or just seasoned up uh, bluegill and hybrid bluegill fillets. Did that in the skillet on some butter and we got some brown rice. Super simple, super easy. We call that uh, Jessica's way. That's the way <laughs> she likes to have it. But it's super delicious. I just know it's going to be delicious because it always is. But let's just make sure. This one will have any forks. Yeah, no forks. <laughs> Cypress used all the forks. We're rocking two spoons today. Mm. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. That was just seasoned up with Old Bay. I didn't. I couldn't find the Slappy Mama for some reason. I don't know where what? it was at. It might have been on the counter. I just couldn't find it. But that's okay. Old Bay's delicious. It does have a kick to it. Mm. Woo! But it's a good kick. Man, you look all <laughs> set up, buddy. <laughs> Cypress, how are you going to catch a fish without a hook on your pole? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> he said, well, Dad, I can't have hooks yet. Oh, look at his face. He got bit by a mosquito. Aw, poor little guy. That's okay. He's not going to let that stop him from catching the fish today, right? Right. You can't let the mosquitoes ruin all the fun. No, no, even though they do ruin a lot of fun no, for us. No. Yeah. That's kind of just part of living down here by the lake, but that's okay. Mom's getting her worm all rigged up. Uh-oh. Nice and juicy style. Trying to. Trying to. It's kind of wriggly. These aren't these sluggish ones you get out of the refrigerator. Cypress, look out! <laughs> Cypress, you gonna sit in your chair? Huh? Let me strap you to your chair for a little bit. He looks like he's trying to get in. Let's see yeah. if he can figure. He looks like he can figure it out. You wanna sit down? So for those of you that don't know, he's been having some billy goat tendencies recently. He's been <laughs> all about climbing on stuff, and he will climb on everything, and he literally looks just like. Yes, you do. You look like a billy goat. <laughs> It's okay. Goats are cool. Cypress, quit whacking me with that thing. He said, hurry up. Cypress, are you ready to catch a big one? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You rigged up? Yeah, I'm just gonna, we gotta catch a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> I like the determination look in your eyes. He said, mom, why do we bring chairs out here if we're just gonna stay on the ground? <laughs> All right. What is that? Oh, fish, that's your fishing line, Sai. Oh gosh. I gotta recast. Here we go. Okay. That looks juicy to me. Oh, <gasps> get, oh, oh shoot! Oh Sorry. shoot! That was so fast. She's hooked up with the big one. Real. Real side. Real side. Real side. Real. He said, "I got my bobber." <laughs> oh gosh. Is side. it big? Oh gosh. It's, we're in. We got some grass. Side. Oh, it's oh, a gosh, nice a one. one. Look at that blue hill. One. Whoa! Just like that Whoa. side. Look at that fish, Cypress. We got one. We got our first keeper of the day. You gonna touch it? Oh yeah. He said, oh yeah. That's a nice yeah. one, Cy. That one's huge. You like to touch the fish? Can you say woohoo? Hey, woo! Can you clap? Can you clap? Yay, we caught a fish. Can you clap? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Good job. Oh, oh, oh goodness. He, he's spiky. Hey, Cypress. <laughs> 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 hey Cypress, where's his where's his head? Cypress, where's the fish's head? Oh, at? he's peeing on us! Oh. He's peeing on us! <laughs> <laughs> he's peeing on us! He's still peeing on us! That's too funny. Cypress will never forget this moment that you were first peed on by a big bluegill. <laughs> hey Cypress, where's his head? Hmm. Where's his head? Where's his head at? Yeah. yeah. Where's, where's his, his eye? Mouth? Where's oh. his mouth? Where's his mouth? He's still peeing, Cypress. So. <laughs> okay, so let's quit playing around with this fish. Let's get him back in the bucket. Let's catch another one. What you say? He said, I want it. Maybe you, you can play with him in the bucket. bucket. You wanna play him in the bucket? You know what we're gonna do with this fish, side? Say bye bye in the bucket. <laughs> What'd you think about that? <laughs> he said, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. He's in the bucket. What are we gonna do with him? You want more fish? 
Can I push him to catch more fish? Oh yeah, that means more guys. <laughs> okay, Jay, you heard the man. Catch more this guy fish. Another, catch this guy another fish. <laughs> He's got his pole. Oh, He's God. ready. Oh, you gonna do it? All right, Sai. You hold on to our spare bait. And I'll find us another fish. Here, fishy, fishy. Now, what are you doing? Where are you going, Sai? You're the gonna fit. miss out on all the action. He said, I'm going to look in the bucket. So all the action's over here. <gasps> yes, sir. Cy. Cypress. Cy, She's got here. one. You're missing out. Come here. This is a good one. Don't lose him, JJ. It's a big one. Come here, Sai. Go get it, Sai. Hurry, Sai. Help care. me. Help me. That's another big one. Oh, it's another keeper. Ah. Let's go. See, Cypress, you're missing it. out. <laughs> he said, but there's still one in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice one, JJ. There yeah. it is. Are you excited? Now you realize. Oh, careful. Oh. <laughs> He's dying and scared. Isn't he cute? That's a nice one. All right, Sai, we got to put him in the bucket. Watch his fins. Watch his fins. <laughs> so I want to do it. Let me put it in the bucket. Here. You can put him in the bucket. There you go. Put him in the bucket. Oh, Yay! Good. Good job. <laughs> He's like, wait. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Yeah, how am I going to get me out of bucket? <laughs> Good, Good job. Good job. Cypress, you got the worms for us? Hey, look. Big, fat, juicy worm. I'm going to put it on the hook. This is our fish bait. No, we're not going to play with this one. We got more you can play with. This one here is going to catch us another big fish. It's kind of wriggling a little bit. Not my best hook job. But that right there should get us something. What do you think? Oh, yeah. What do you think about it, Cy? Si? You want this other half of him? Here, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna fire it out then so we can catch another one. Ready, Sam? There you go. Okay, ready. We're fishing now. Ready? Oh, I think we landed in the spot. Are there any left or did you and mom already catch them all? You don't know? <laughs> Let's try again. If they don't bite within five seconds, we gotta cast back out there. That's what mom taught us in the last bluegill fishing video. <laughs> it's true. Oh, small oh. Cypress! Cypress! <laughs> Told you, you only gotta wait five seconds. Come on, Cypress! <laughs> oh, another big one! Woo! Look at that! Thing. Yeah, buddy! Woohoo! Wow. That's number three. He said, we gotta oh, go put, gotta him, put him, in him in the bucket. We gotta put him in the bucket, bro. Come on. Let's go put him in the bucket. Don't fall in the lake. All right, Sai, that's fish number three. Got him off the hook. Okay, you got to go. Okay, grab him. Okay, and put him in the bucket. Here, grab him. And put him in the bucket. Good job! Yay! Yay. <laughs> ah. Hey, where's that, other, where's that other half of that worm at? You still got it? Where's that worm at? You don't know? Did you lose that worm? Sai! <laughs> Where's the worm at? It's right here. Where's the worm, Sai? Hey, it's right there. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, we're going to cast out there again so we can catch another one. We need about, how many do you think we need, Sai? Seven? Yeah. Can we get seven? How many are you going to eat? I bet he could eat seven by himself at this point. Oh, Sai, you dumped out all the worms. Oh, goodness. Well, actually, I think we're good. I think they made a sticky ball together and they just stayed in the bottom. <laughs> Okay, Sai, you can play with the worms. I'm gonna cast back out there and catch another one. <laughs> oh, boom! He got one, Sai! I don't even care. He's, it's a little one, isn't it? No, ain't that little. There we go. Sai, look! <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> he said, how do these fish just keep magically appearing? He keeps running right to the bucket. You put him in the bucket? Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put him in the bucket. Put him in the bucket. Grab him. Yes. Good job. Good job, Sai. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? Come get the worms. Come get the worms. Hey, Sai, can you say worm? 
Ma. Can you say fish? <laughs> Can you say mama? <laughs> Can you say mama? Oh, there's all the worms. Oh my goodness, Sai. Wow. That is. Whoa, Sai. <laughs> What's that? Can you grab those worms? Pick up the worms. So I just gotta put them all back in the cup. Just put them back in this cup? Here you go. No, not in the bucket. You gonna feed those? Here you go. No, 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 no. <laughs> put it back in. Oh. <laughs> they already had some worms, remember? He put one in the bucket and said bye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. There we okay. go. So we're going to run out of bait fast at this rate. <laughs> Are you smelling them? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, yeah, we will definitely run out of bait fast if you're doing that. Yeah, we might have to hide the worms for a minute. <laughs> hide your worms, hide your kids. Oh, God. Cypress, now. <laughs> Cypress, you got worms coming out your shoes, boy. <laughs> you're going to need a BATH before nine o'clock. Yes, you are. Okay, we just strapped the little man into his little chair. He's gonna sit here and just play with the worms for a minute while me and mom get after some of these bluegill. <laughs> Cause, I mean, while we are catching them, we're catching one about every 10 minutes. <laughs> and we gotta catch the fish before we ran out of bait. <laughs> this is awesome. Yes, it is. I could watch him all day. I know. It's better than going to the zoo. <laughs> Except I'm not a zoo animal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tepris, you're losing all of the worms, buddy. They're everywhere. They're, you're like their hero right now. All right, Jay, you ready for some rapid fire? We don't have a lot of time because this guy's gonna eat all of the bait, or not eat, he's just gonna, he's gonna run through all of our bait here really quickly. He might. He's got one coming out of his shoe. Is he really? <laughs> <laughs> just hold on to the bait, buddy. We're gonna catch some fish here. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, gosh. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Uh oh, he flipped his chair. <laughs> He's crawling away in his chair. You got one, Jay. I got one, too. You got Cypress. one. Cypress. <laughs> Cypress, get back here. What are you doing? <laughs> Jay's got a fish. I got a good one. That's a good one. Whoa. And Cypress is, he looks like a little snail. <laughs> He's trying to get back to his bucket. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> hey, Cypress. Hey. Look at this fish. You're gonna get stickers in your foot. <gasps> put him in the bucket. You got mommy's fish cypress? You gonna put him in the bucket? Put him in, in the bucket. Good job. Good job. Give me five. Yay. Give me five. Oh, give me five. Good job. You gonna play with those fishies? Okay, let's get you another one. Cypress and Jay ran back up the hill, so I'm gonna rig up another worm really quickly, see if I can't pop a few more bluegill out of this spot. Really can't tell how many are actually here. I don't think there's very many. We've been fishing this spot for a little while now and just haven't really caught that many up until just recently. So, let's see if there's another one here to be caught. There he is, loaded. That's a big one too. Come up here. Yes, sir. <laughs> another good. Eaten size, thick, delicious bluegill. Toss him in the bucket. He, that joker got my entire worm. Is there any worms left in this cut? There's still one of Cypress's worms. Thread that joker on the hook. And we'll just put the whole thing on there. We can get more worms if we run out. How long do you think it's gonna take? One, two, I kinda missed a spot. Three, four, Five, no bueno, missed the spot. It's like a tiny little spot that they're chilling in. That's it right there. One, two, three. <laughs> a good solid three seconds and we're hooked up. <laughs> Golly, another nice one. No hybrids and no red ears so far though. They're all just bluegill, but we'll take it. That's perfect. In the bucket. Try to catch one more good keeper. And that should be plenty enough for us to cook up 
to eat today. Oh, I don't know about that one. He's kind of small. Decent, but kind of small. I have a feeling there's probably one over there that's a little bit bigger, but still another good little bluegill. Toss him back. Oh, there we go. There we go. There is at least one more there. I think it's another good keeper. Heck yes. All right. Well, that right there should be plenty of fish for us. It's another good hand-sized looking bluegill. Smash that night crawler. A little red worm. We'll toss them here in the bucket. We're gonna get those guys all situated on some ice and then we're gonna clean them up. We will see you guys when we get the cleaning table. All right guys, I am back here with y'all. I'm here chilling at the fish cleaning table. I have all of our catch from today up here in front of us. We have nine of these nice bluegill to clean up. So what I wanna do for y'all is show you exactly how I like to fillet these guys with a handheld fillet knife. It's super easy, it's super effective to get some nice pieces of meat off the fish. So without further ado, let's jump right into this little fish cleaning tutorial. All right, so we'll start by selecting one of our bluegill. We'll pick the biggest one of the crowd. I think this is the biggest one. He looks good. He's actually freezing cold too from being on ice for a while. But anyways, guys, this is super easy. Here is our handheld fillet knife. What you're gonna what you're gonna want to do to get started is you're gonna make a cut around the head, just kind of following around the operculum, which is the gill flap right here. I like to start by just kind of pushing up the pectoral fin, kind of go up underneath their little ear section right there. Just get it tied to the head right here. Just make a nice smooth cut around the gills. Try not to shake you too much up there on the camera, guys. I know it's kind of wobbling. Anyways, we got that cut around the head. And then what we'll do next is we'll take our knife and we'll run it down the spine down here on this side of the backbone. So just imagine there's me on this side of the backbone, me on this side of the backbone. You don't want to cross into the backbone because you'll jack it up. So stick your knife in there. You can kind of feel it. And we'll just work the knife blade down here to the tail. Keep a good grip on the fish. Be careful not to cut yourself. Just go nice and easy. Okay, so once we have that cut right there, you can kind of see it. You can see we've got it split right there in the back and you can see the meat starting to come off. The ribs are about right here. So what we'll do is we'll just poke the knife in here and we'll feel for the ribs. There's the ribs, there's ribs. Okay, and when you don't feel ribs anymore, you'll just push the knife through. And a good general rule of thumb is to stick it through right here at the uh, beginning of the anal fin. And then we'll just follow the knife and the bones out this way towards the tail slice it off and then all we have to do now is just kind of lift the knife blade up a little bit and cut over those ribs keep it as tight to the bones as possible and then once you get over the ribs you'll see you can kind of angle it back down and you can kind of peel the meat away from the bones just like this super easy super smooth you can see we got pretty much all of the meat probably 95 percent of the meat off that side and we have the meat here still attached to the skin and we will want to remove that just by simply cutting it off. We'll get it started like that then we'll press down on the skin and we'll let the sharp knife do the rest. And voila, there we go guys. We have ourselves a completely boneless bluegill filet except for we have a little tiny piece or section of pin bones which are pretty much irrelevant especially if you're going to be frying because they just fry up if you're going to be cooking them in a skillet you might want to just slice through that kind of score that area or cut those out but anyways guys that is absolutely perfect exactly what you want to see come off a big bluegill like this we'll put it here in the bowl we'll go over the other side really quick so you can see it done one more time go underneath the fin around the gills up to the head we'll stick the knife down in here in the back Work it back up to the head, and again, just make sure you don't cut yourself. You gotta kinda have a good grip on these fish. There's not a whole lot of fish there to grab onto. It's much different than crappie, because crappie got like a big old mouth, and you can just grip a hold of it, but anyways, got that cut. We'll stick the knife down here. See it's gonna come out the base, or the beginning of the anal fin right there. Follow the bones out to the tail, and then we'll just start working the meat up and over the ribs, and come straight down. Because obviously the tighter you are to the bones, the more meat you're going to be getting off the fish, which is what you want ultimately when cleaning these guys. There we go. And we'll just take the meat right off the fillet. Super simple. And make sure you keep that knife tight to the skin too. Pretty much got it all off the skin. You can just barely see there's a tiny little bit like right here that we didn't get, but it's you know pretty much irrelevant. That's a good piece of meat. Throw it in the bowl, and we have 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. I must have counted wrong, I thought we had nine. Either way, seven left. And uh, we're gonna whip through them really quick and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna cook them up. All right, we're back at it. It's actually the next day now and we are here on the back deck, ready to start cooking up our catch from yesterday. I have all the fish all filleted up, bagged up here in this bag of, I think this is the Uncle Bucks. Uh, Bass Pro Shops fish seasoning. It's pretty good stuff. It's not my favorite, but it is quite good. And then here in front of me, of course, as always, I've got the deep fryer here with some pretty fresh oil. It's not super fresh. It's not brand new, but it'll it'll work. And we are going to be dunking each and every one of these bad boys in there and uh, crisping them up, which is probably the best way to cook bluegill. We eat them a ton of different ways, but it's been honestly quite some time since we've had some fried fish and uh, we're kind of craving it. So that is what we are going to do. So let me get in here in this bag reach in here and find us one test the oil out see if it's ready oh yeah we are sizzling baby we've got I forgot me we had eight or nine fish in total so we have 16 or 18 fillets which is a great amount since they are not the biggest pieces of meat but there you go guys beautiful battered up fillet that kind of weird hole in it that's all right and we should be able to fit most of these guys in here we'll probably do you know half of them the first batch and then we'll do the other half the next time just so we don't overcrowd it too much. The official taste test of the bluegill we caught out here on the lake yesterday goes down right now. It's tasty. Super tasty. I mean, bluegill meat you really can't mess it up, guys. It's just, it never tastes bad, unless it's rotten, unless you let it sit in your fridge for like a week and then eat it. Um, it's so good. This isn't, like I said, this isn't my favorite batter, mainly because it's not super crunchy and crispy, um, but it has good flavor, but you're not really getting that really deep crunch, but it's the only stuff we had on hand at the moment. Anyways, though, that is quite tasty. Gosh, what is that? That's a big fish. Is that a red ear? Oh my gosh, look at that one. Look at that one, guys. There we go, that's how we get things started right there. That is a stud, dude. Oh my gosh, he's bigger than my hand. That is a big old hybrid bluegill red ear. Let's get him on the stringer, let's get back in there. That is nuts. Look at that fish. Okay, so this chain string right here has got seven clips. So we're going for seven nice slabby brim of some sort, either they're bluegill, hybrids, red ear, we don't really care. Maybe even we'll get like a catch catfish. There's our first one. Then we're over the side of the boat. Biggin? No. Biggin? That's a big difference in size compared to yours. There was a big old bass that just came up right there. Oh my goodness. Dang, we have no bass gear though. That kind of sucks, but. Hey, we'll catch some big bluegills and maybe we'll come back for some bass later. He's That's so a tiny, tiny guy. A little tiny baby guy. See you. Oh, he's on there. Oh, it's another good one, Jay. Well, not bad. Oh, it's a red ear. That's a straight up red ear. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. A nice red ear. Another keeper. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. All right, well, there's my second fish of the day and it's a little bit smaller than the first one but it's still a good keeper that first one was just massive a good red ear sunfish just throw them on <gasps> get him oh that, that looked like a good one that looked like i know he like pulled it down was just hovering with it oh gosh yeah i just jerked way too hard <laughs> yes oh smoked him he smoked it good I know, I thought it was gonna be a big one. He ain't bad. We've eaten him that size before, but we're definitely gonna be sending that guy back yeah. into the lake. Since we're only going for seven good ones. Yeah, all right, see you buddy. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yes. Oh. Next cast, next cast. Slab queen's on fire. Oh yeah, these are slabs. <laughs> and slabby dinks. <laughs> Where are the big ones at? There's two on the stringer. Yeah, there is two on the stringer. You're that, right. That first one we caught might have been the Mac Daddy. He might have been like the, just the biggest one in this spot. Yeah. Oh. Got it. Oh, that's a nice one too. Oh, it's another red ear. 
Another red ear. Slaying them. Slaying them. Hey. I'm not used to catching red ear this time of year, Jay. It's usually an April thing. Yeah. Not an August thing. That is awesome. Three fish, three red ear. Well, the first one wasn't technically a 100% red ear, but a hybrid. But we've got three nice sunfish now. I'm actually going to put him on the same one as the other one. I just threw him in the lake. You did? <laughs> yep, he just fell in the lake. Aww. Dang it. We had him. Oh. That's okay. We'll get another one. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, gosh. He's flying. These fish are fighting so crazy. Little bluegill. Haven't caught any male bluegill like this yet, but he's not going to be a keeper. He's a little guy, but he was spunky. He was a spunky dude. He's cool looking. He'd be cool in a fish tank. He's like that perfect little kind of medium size. <laughs> we'll see you. We also do need to get some new fish for our fish tank, Jay. Yeah, we do. Maybe we'll do that one day soon. Got him? Got him. Good one? Sounds like a good one. Looks like he's digging. Oh, he's my biggest, <laughs> but I wouldn't call him a keeper. Yeah, he's he's kind of a medium like the last guy I yeah. caught. But still a good sign though. There's some nice bluegills out here chilling in the swamp. They're just kind of swimming in different sizes. Yeah. We had I'm that, looking for the big ones. Yeah, we had that <laughs> spot where we first started out at. It had some good ones, but now we're kind of into the smaller class. Yeah. I feel like if we keep you know messing around, we'll find some more good ones. Oh yeah. Nice. Big one? That feels like a good one. That looks like he's a good one. He's digging. Oh, <gasps> yeah, dude. There you go. That you weren't even my looking. Next class. Cast. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Heck yeah. Jay's finally contributing to the stringer. Oh, yeah. And breaking up the red ear party on there. Yeah. I guess that's going to be our third one on there. We should have already had three, but I let that one get away. But that's now our third one. Oh, there he is. Big Daddy. Big daddy, daddy, big daddy, big He's daddy. Oh my yes. yes, it's a red ear. It's a red ear. <laughs> yes, that's what I was wanting to catch. That's a good red ear right there. Oh yeah, that's a dang good one. He was out away from <laughs> these thick trees and by the isolated tree. Yeah. See. They're really just kind of all over the place. I know, it's crazy. Oh, I got one. I got it. <laughs> Doubles. I'm surprised it's our first double of the day. Yeah. Honestly. You can't hate that daily double right there, oh, but no. Jay's is definitely way bigger and going on the stringer. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's there you see. Go. Oh, I have one. What the heck? <gasps> Be big. What is that? Over Jay's head. Over what the head. <laughs> what is it? It's oh. a little red ear. Look at that. Nice little red ear. We'll let him go though. He's a little bit smaller than our others. Sweet. Uh-uh, catfish. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. That's not, oh my gosh, that's a catfish or something. That's a catfish oh, or something. Yeah. That's a catfish or something. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, stay on there. Oh my gosh, stay on. He's stuck in this, come here. That's a catfish, it's a catfish. It's a catfish, grab him, grab him, grab him. Yes! That's a bonus catch. <laughs> I was hoping something like this would happen out here because you just never know what you're going to run into when you're throwing some night crawlers up against some cypress trees next to a little swampy area. And that is definitely an awesome bonus catch out here. We've been catching panfish all afternoon long and we finally got ourselves a little kitty cat. And I was just using this teeny tiny little size eight hook with a tiny piece of night crawler and he found it scrumptious. That bobber went Bloop, bloop. <laughs> and when I set the hook on this eight foot like ultra light rod, it just doubled over. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of glad in this instance that it wasn't like a five or six pounder, oh, yeah. but just a nice little two pounder or probably like pound and three quarter. But he is definitely going on the stringer here with his buddies. All the little sunfish we've got. We've got four on there right now. Yeah. Four good Looking ones. Looking good. And I got those nice little bonus catfish. Let's go guys. Let's go. Got one. Got one. 
Got one. That has oh, a big boil. Yeah. That's a big boil. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's another red ear. Yeah. That's serious right there. That is awesome right there. <laughs> Let's go. Just moments after catching the catfish. Oh, I got one. What you got? Doubles. Doubles. I have a tiny little little bluegill. Tiny little bluegill. Let's let her go. Let's see that. Let's see that red ear. That's what we're here for. That's what people came to the channel for today. It's a nice red ear. It's a slab, girl. Heck yeah. Let's catch more. Oh my goodness, that's so much fun. All right, so it's the next day and it is really bright and sunny and hot out here today, but that's okay. You just saw me get the fish cleaned up that we caught yesterday. Um, I scaled them, I cut the heads off, I gutted them, and now we have them here in front of me. And let me show you guys how we're gonna be cooking these boys up today. At least the bluegill, at least. So here, I got myself a little foil tray here. I've got my cleaned up pan fish down here and I have them seasoned with some slap your mama, I've got some butter in there. That's pretty much all we're doing. And we are going to be folding this foil back over on top of them. And we're gonna be throwing them on the old grill over there. That boy is heating up. It should be warmed up here in just a moment. And um, as far as the catfish goes we caught yesterday, we are actually going to be frying those fillets and uh, we're gonna make some fish sandwiches. So we're gonna have some fish sandwiches and some whole grilled sunfish. So I think it's gonna be good. We'll throw these guys in the grill and uh, we'll show you guys the plate once we're all done. All right, Jay Crazy, you pumped? I'm pumped and I'm so hungry. <laughs> Look at this. Here's Jay's sandwich. Take that bun off. See what we've got in there. Ooh, we've we got, got some catfish, tartar sauce, tomato, and fresh cold homemade pickles. Cold homemade pickles. And we got some spare pickles right there we might munch on too. But let's show them the main course. I need the foil. Well, I don't well, know. I don't really know which one is the main course, yeah. but um, I think this is going to be the side. Okay. We got fish sandwiches with a side of grilled Ooh. whole bluegill. We are feeling really crazy. Yeah. I'm really just, hungry. <laughs> just fish on fish. No sides. No nothing. Here's my sandwich right here. I've got just some catfish, pickles, and some hot sauce on there. And that should be yummy. And these fish here should be yummy. I'm just excited to dig into it and see how they taste. Okay, I'm making Jay start off by tasting the grilled whole pan fish. I'm not sure if that was a red ear or a bluegill or a hybrid. Is it hot? Mm -hmm. Go for it. That's good. Bluegill's your favorite fish, isn't mm. it? Bluegill's basically her favorite food. I love it so much. And mm. it's not something we get to enjoy as much this time of year. Normally we're not. out fishing for other things. We do most of our bluegill and redder fishing in the springtime and summertime or in early summer. But you know, late summer, bluegill hard to beat. That is so good. Especially as fresh <laughs> for these guys. That is so good, Cole. And just flakes right off the bone. I think it's even better when it's bone in too. Mm -hmm. mm. For sure. Now I gotta try my catfish sandwich that Cole caught for me. Thanks, Cole. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see, where do I wanna? You gotta pick a good spot. Oh yeah, yeah that's, that's a good spot. Good. Hmm. We got the best of both worlds right now. We got the grilled fish and the fish sandwich. Oh my gosh. Which one's better? Which one's your favorite to eat? You can be honest. No one's gonna hate your I one love yet. fish sandwiches. Um, but that broom is pretty dang good. Do you think you're enjoying that more in the sandwich today? Well, I don't know. I just took one I little you, bite. I guess so. But they're both good though, right? They're both very good. I can't pick which one I like. <laughs> Okay, I've got to get in here and test this out because I know this is good. We both know that this is really good hard to beat, but i got to get in here and test out some of this right here. Okay, going in for a piece of the grilled fish that looks so good. It's white, it's flaky, you got the skin, you got the bone on filet. <laughs> this is good stuff. That's delicious. We should add that to our menu item when we open up the Colin J uh, food truck. <laughs> That'll definitely be probably the best seller, one of the best sellers. We have the fish sandwich, the slabby patties, and then this, that's so good. I wish I had more. We should catch more. We should catch more brim, like tomorrow.
we went to Academy this morning and we picked up some micro $10 fishing rods. These rods are awesome at and first tiny. sight. At first sight, yeah, <laughs> and extremely tiny. Like, I've got a little orange uh, spin cast push button reel, and Jay has got a little spinning reel. She's nice. team yellow. Yeah, bright yellow. Bright orange. yellow. I'm team orange. And um, yeah, we have to catch all of our fish today on these little guys. Now, I have honestly no idea how well these are gonna work. Um, like I said, they were $10 and they came pre-spooled with line. So I think all the value is basically in the fishing line. <laughs> um, as far as the specs go, I think they're two foot long. They each have one ball bearing. This one has a 3.0 to one gear ratio. Um, what's your gear ratio? Um, what's it say? I think it says right here. What's that say? Five, five to one. one. She's got the faster reel. I've got the slower reel. I'm not, I mean, like I said, I have no idea which one's gonna work better, but we decided to pick up one of each type to see you know, which one works better. So maybe we can use them again in the future because honestly, these aren't bad rods to have for this type of area. Like when we go deep inside these trees, there's not very much overhead room to cast and you need a shorter rod mm -hmm. to, to, you know, to present your lure effectively in these places. So if they work out, it's awesome. And they were only 10 bucks, so we couldn't pass up on that. Now, along with the micro rods, we have a new bait today that we haven't used in ages. I don't think we've used it in several years. And uh, we used worms last time and it worked, but this time we've got green worms. Green worms. Are they alive? I didn't yeah, they're them alive. Them. Oh, and they cool. are very green, which is really cool. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not sure what makes them green. I guess they just dye them or something because they're just eating the same dirt. So I guess they just dye them green, but hopefully it'll be enough to catch some fish's attention and we'll catch some fish. They're leaving green juice on my hand. Yeah, I like these worms are alive. The ones we used the other day were mostly dead yeah. and like melted. I don't know what the dealio was with that. You always need to check your worms before you buy them to make sure they're alive. And I did not do that last time, but those should work. We're starting off here in the same spot we started off last time, but we're gonna make a trip all the way around this thing and we're going to try to find the mother load of some big pan fish. So if you guys are into this type of video, which I think most of y'all are, you know what to do. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future wild and crazy fishing adventures. But with that said, I cannot wait any longer to try out these little <laughs> micro fishing rods. So let's get after it, Jay. Let's do it. All right, we are pulling out the first worm. I'm going to bait him on my hook and hopefully I'm going to catch the first fish. I hope you catch a catfish. Ooh, that'd be cool. If we catch a catfish on these little rods, that's going to be absolutely crazy. Or like a carp or something. These worms are very poopy. Yeah, they are. Messy. Gross. Poopy juicy worms. Maybe should have got crickets, but yeah, I like worms better than Actually, crickets. Actually, should have got a bigger piece of worm. <laughs> I'm going to add on a little bit more. Because in the last video, they didn't like the little pieces. Or they like, wanted the big pieces. Yeah, the big ones wanted the big pieces. Yeah. The little ones would just grab the tiny little piece of bait before the big ones could get to it last time. Okay. That looks good. All right. I want to see the first cast with that thing. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. I think they're spooled up with eight pound tests. I don't remember what the label said, but it should be fine. Let's see that inaugural first cast with the micro fishing rod. Not too bad. Well, that went too bad. Not too bad. You got like 20 feet, 30 feet with that. Oh, there's some fish over there. Can't Come you on, get bit? please catch one of my first casts. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna get a good one. Ready? Set. Oh, there it is. There we go. There it is. Oh, you already oh got one. Oh! I got one. Let's go! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey, they work. He's kind of a micro fish, so. Kind of. He's honestly about the same size as that reel. <laughs> yeah. It makes the it makes our small fish look bigger. Hey, that was not too bad. Uh-uh. You know, a nice little sunfish. We've also got a cooler here with some ice. We're gonna throw some keepers in today. But you, my friend, are not a keeper, so you get to be swim free. <laughs> okay, Jay started the video off strong, catching her first fish on the yellow uh, spinning micro rod. Now I have to try out the casting version. I had a lot more faith in the spinning one just because I know they usually work better regardless, Ooh. but hopefully. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's... Oh my gosh, there's a big old bass. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. We do have a bass rod in here. Pull an audible. He's still there. Eat my bait. I'm like squatted down in here. Ah! I got, oh, I had him. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's a giant bass. What? Oh my gosh. He was a big guy. I hate his bait, it's actually too small. Oh, ah. something did it. Dang. Well, I almost caught him squatting down here in this boat. Failed to mention that we do have a couple of additional bass rods. When we were out here the other day, um, there were some bass coming up here periodically and we didn't have anything to catch them with. So we came prepared today, got a little topwater bait and that was a big one. It, that would be a good bonus fish, guys. <laughs> but okay, let's get back on track. That was crazy. Got the yellow or the orange. 
push button micro ride, we're gonna send it. Oh, I almost threw it in the tree. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? I freaking rainbowed that thing. That's good though. Oh, I got some distance. I'm over there where yours is at. Uh oh. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. I got him. Oh man. I got him. The dragon's flipping. <laughs> is it big? I don't know. It looks oh, kind of good. It's definitely bigger than mine was. Oh, it's a good one. <gasps> it's what? a red ear. Are you kidding yes. me? Look at that, guys. Micro push button fishing pole, and we got ourselves a nice keeper sized red ear. Like, that's just as big and even a little bit bigger than some of the ones we caught in the last video. That is awesome. The only thing is that drag was slipping. I had to tighten that thing up. <laughs> and I can't really even tell how big they are because it's just like. It's kind of a stiff little rod, but yeah. there we go. There's our first keeper of the day, a yeah, nice red yeah. ear. Like that is the fish that we were after out here today, guys. And of course, a bonus big bass if we can get one, but I'm good with the red ear. I'm gonna cool it. Heck yeah. This is gonna be a fun day, guys. Oh, good one. Yes. Woo! <laughs> there we go. He's a little bit bigger than my last one. Oh gosh. But he's not quite big enough to keep, so we're gonna throw him back, get back out there. This is actually really fun. I know. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Oh. 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 Yeah, baby. Check it out. I got my first red ear on my micro fishing rod. Wow, that was so much fun. That dude was ripping. He was yeah, fucking crazy. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Um, he's probably still a little too small to keep, so, I think so. I'm gonna throw him back and. We're gonna catch a bigger one. I just know I am. Yeah, I think especially at the pace that we're catching them, like yeah. should be no issue catching several nice sized panfish today. Woo! Good job, Jay. That's a bite, isn't it? Oh, a good one. Good oh one. yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! All right, we are now working our way into the swamp, and I've got the first fish, a nice little bluegill. That is a nice one. Um. Still not big enough. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a nice one. I mean, he's borderline. You could yeah. definitely, you could definitely keep an eat one that size. But I'm just saying, I'm really loving this rod. Right now. <laughs> this is like so much fun. We're gonna have to get you a whole arsenal, and we get you like yeah. six or seven, one of every color. All right, bye. Oh gosh, got him, got him, got him, little guy. There's my. I think my third fish, nice little bluegill, not the size we're after. Big one. That's a big one. Woo! Oh yeah, he is fine. Good. Woo! Baby! Oh my gosh, that is a really nice one. Now that is what's up, JJ. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. And oh my goodness, so much fun fighting it on this rod. Did you see the fish take off? I, he did. He tried to go up underneath that grass mat Woo! right there. We actually just circled back over here to the spot where we first caught our fish. We weren't catching anything in the really deep swamp here, so I guess we're hanging out here more on the edge. That's a That's nice, a nice one. one. Heck yeah. Definitely a keeper and definitely the biggest one we've caught so far. Get one more look at that bad boy. That is a nice red ear, Jay. Moving there with this buddy. He's kind of lonely. Finally, one for me and one for you. Let's go. That's a good bite right there. Oh yeah, That's oh man, one. oh yeah, baby. Another good one. Woo! Nice bluegill, heck yeah. All right, just moments after catching that red ear, we got our first bluegill keeper. That's a good one. Yes! Hand-sized, big old brims out here next to the swampy edge right here. They're just, they're not really biting like crazy, but every time we move up like five or six feet, we catch one. Right. So they're kind of spread out, but that's okay. We'll do what we gotta do to get them. <laughs> That's a nice one. He's pretty too. Yeah, he is pretty. He looks even better in here though. Am I right? Am I right? Looks quite tasty. Comment below <laughs> if you think we're right about that. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Oh. Drag is squealing. The drag is squealing, but I think he's small. <laughs> that little guy right there has that drag peeling. It's a little female bluegill. Bit as soon as it hit the water. I kind of rainbowed the cast and my line was kind of over a tree branch, so it took me a second to get back down there to it. <laughs> That's awesome. Also, like I mentioned, this one here has a three, a, a stunning 
tell you, 3.0 to 1 gear ratio, as opposed to Jay's faster reel. So she has the edge in that category, but I think I might have the edge in casting. I think this one's easier to cast than hers. There's pros and cons to each of our micro setups, but they're both ripping them. Oh, he's strutting. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, yeah. Big one. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, Get yeah. unstuck. Get unstuck. Oh, Good one. Oh. Yeah. Nice. You think that plane can see my micro fishing rod, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I finally got another keeper, a nice male bluegill. Not a bad fish at all. These fish are biting weird. It's like either they bite it as soon as the bait hits the water or they don't bite it at all. I'm not really sure what's up with that. You would think you could just soak it and jiggle it around in their face and they would eventually come to it, but that just really hasn't been the case. So we're letting the bait sit out there for like five or six seconds. We don't have them. We just reel it back in. But this guy is going in here and we've got two red ear, two bluegill. Not bad. Not bad for a little micro rod fishing day. <laughs> Ooh, I thought I was about to get hungry. I got another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Let's get up here. I kind of like the drag going. Woohoo! There we go. Next cast after catching that keeper bluegill. This one here is just a little bit smaller. Toss her back. There's way to get these things lower. Might push them up. Oh, you got one, Jay. Oh, it's a good one. That's a good one. He just flew out of the water. Oh, it was definitely a nice red ear. Dang. Dang. We were fidgeting with these rods we have in the boat right here and he was just slurping on it. Dang. I got a fish. Whoa. Tighten up that drag. He's in the grass. I think he's still on there too. He's still on there. Oh, oh it's a good one. Oh, we got a fish and some grass. Is it a keeper? Hey. Oh, he's looking kind of sickly. I was not paying attention. I heard a bass jump and um, I started feeling my line getting pulled out and it was this nice little bluegill here. Nice one. Okay, that is the smallest one that I've caught in a while. They can't all be big ones, but hey, big or small, these fish are fun to catch. <laughs> yeah, and he's still, I mean, he's still just like I said, kind of like some other ones, borderline. You could definitely eat that fish, but we're going for the slabbier sized yeah. panfish out here in the swamp today. So I guess we'll send him back and keep looking for that lunker. Here we go. Boop. Nice. Fish on, fish on, feels good, looks good, is good. It's a good one. Yes, Ooh. another red ear. There we go, guys, finally got another red ear. It's kind of been kind of been slow the last like 15, 20 minutes. We haven't had a whole lot of bites. We've been kind of just moving around out here, trying to locate some schooled up fish. But like I said earlier in a couple of times already in this video, they just kind of just spread out. They're not grouped up in big wolf packs. Just one here, one there. You'll make a cast by a certain stump or log and get bit, but that's another nice keeper. We also saw some more bass activity. That kind of got us excited, but we didn't we didn't catch any, but we're still holding out hope we can get a big old bass too. Fish on. Get over that log. <laughs> yes, yes. Not a bad one. Not quite a keeper, but we moved our way back up in here into the swamp again and uh, Looks like there's some fish hanging out on this side. Huh. Oh, fish on! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, I don't know if he's still on. Oh, he's still on there. He's just not very big. <laughs> Goodness. That little dude got me all wrapped up on that tree. That's one thing about these short rods. They're hard to get these fish maneuvered out of tight situations. Tiny guy. We might find a school of little guys over here. Got him. Dinks. Oh, doubles. Finally, we got our first double of the day. Double dinks. Double dinks. What's up with that, Jay? We came in here thinking we were going to catch some big ones, and all I we're know. catching are dinks in this spot. I don't know. It's a pretty environment, though. That's for dang yeah. sure. It's a beautiful spot to catch fish.
Okay guys, so we are off the lake now. The fish is absolutely quit biting on us. I'm not sure what the dealio was. Maybe it's just the timing of the day, but anyways, we had a great time out there, didn't we? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We caught a good a good many fish. I'm not gonna say we caught a ton of fish. We caught probably somewhere between 20 and 25 fish all together, maybe. We got some good bluegill, we got some good red ear. We didn't get anything super crazy. We didn't catch any big bass or any catfish, catfish. but that's okay. Jay, on a scale from one to 10, how would you rank your micro rod fishing experience today? Um, I would give it a good eight out of 10. Good eight out of 10? Yeah. I honestly, I really enjoyed it. Like this was really easy to cast and it's a pretty stout little rod too. Like I feel like I could handle any fish with it. So. Yeah, and it's super lightweight because yeah. it's only like a foot and a half long. So it definitely wasn't any sort of fatigue. You know, uh -uh. There wasn't any fatigue after fishing with it all day or all afternoon long. No. And I really like this little spin cast guy right here. He casted really, really well. I think that that one might've been easier to cast than this guy. I'm not exactly sure. I casted that one a few times and it felt like this guy was the way to go, but we also had some issues. It would kind of get stuck on the inside and I don't think he had any issues with I that did video. not have any issues with this reel. Yeah, so I definitely think yeah. there's pros and cons to each setup, but both definitely valuable in our arsenal. We should probably just sell all of our super expensive <laughs> bass rods and just buy like a thousand of these guys. Yeah, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a fishing pole, just get one of these. Oh, get him, Jack. You got him? Oh, oh, first cast. Are you kidding me? Eight seconds into this shindig. Heck yeah, that's a good sign. It's not a monster. No. But Oops. it is a good sign, indeed. Sweet, a nice little swamp bluegill. Not a bad <laughs> size. You could definitely eat that in a pinch, but... We're going to catch some bigger ones. I think we're going to catch some bigger ones, yeah. too, especially if they're biting like that. That is a good sign. So this is kind of the rig we got going on today. We are using some night crawlers here. And we are just running them on some light jig heads. Um, normally, when we're fishing for bluegill, we use just like a number six or number four hook with a little BB split shot, but I couldn't find any split shots. So we're using light 132nd ounce jig heads today, which work just as good. Oh, get him, JJ. Ah, I missed it. Got your cheese smoke. Did you get my worm? Yes. No, you get, no, you're good. No, you got some of it. Got some of it. There he is. There he is. Is that bigger than the last one? Yeah, a little bit bigger. Just a tad bit bigger. <laughs> I'd say it's quite a bit bigger, honestly. Yeah. Good fish. Still a little bit too small to keep, but we'll throw them back. We'll get a good one. We'll get a good one here. Biting good. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got a good one? Feels bigger. What is that? <gasps> oh. Oh. He <laughs> <laughs> was sure fighting hard. He's bigger. He is bigger. They keep getting bigger by like three or four millimeters each time. <laughs> Nice little sunfish. Beautiful. So pretty. You're all setting up three nothing. Yeah, where's the big boys at though? Got him. Oh, it's a nice fish. Ooh. Big fish. What is that? Oh, he just stuck around some crap. I think it's a big one. <gasps> yes, it is. Oh, oh look at the head gosh. on that thing. Now that is that what is we're what after. You want. I mean, I'll be getting the same numbers as you, Jay, but I'm getting, I'm getting the correct species. That is a nice red ear. Wow. It took us wading through some smaller fish to finally get our first keeper, but that is a solid one. Beautiful red ear. I honestly think that's kind of more of a hybrid. It doesn't have that really bright red ear. Looks like a hybrid between a bluegill and a red ear, honestly. Uh, but either way, that is a really solid fish and definitely the size we're after. And you see, he's got that jig head just hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> I had the tiniest piece of worm on there too. He looks so pretty with the sun shining through his... Fins. That's one thing we love about coming out and catching these, these panfish is that they all come in different shapes and sizes and colors, especially when you get these hybrids like this. But we'll drop them here in this bucket and uh, I got to get some more worm on my hook and get back out there. Maybe the red ear is starting to bite. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Decent one? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Dang. Some more of the same. Yeah. We're going to have to put the whole night crawler on the hook to get some big ends. Well, I had them. Look at, look at the, all that night that, crawler. That's a chunk. There. You're going to catch catfish with that. Yeah. Another nice little bluegill, <laughs> though. I'm going to sneak up in here and get that big end that was looking at your bait. Right before you caught the little one. Oh, he bit it. Got him. Oh, gosh. What is that? That's big. Oh, it's a shiner. Are you I think it's a shiner. It's a shiner. What? I can't eat that. Can't eat that. Unless it's a survival situation. <laughs> I have eaten a shiner before and it wasn't very good. 
So if you're thinking about eating a shiner, I don't recommend it. <laughs> that's a big old gold shiner. Maybe that's part of the issue. These guys will steer your bait because they have tiny little mouths. Big fish, but you got a tiny little mouth. He makes some good bait, but we'll throw him back. He'll be a lucky, lucky guy today. Not planning on doing any fishing in the next few days that would require him as bait. So watch, I'll probably change my mind in a couple days, but I'm going catfishing. Wish I had a big old shiner to use. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Double, double, double. Oh, uh oh, big. uh oh. oh good. Jane plan. Jane plan. That's a good one. It took us long enough to get our first daily double of the day. Mine <laughs> is definitely not a keeper. And Jay's is kind of borderline. I don't know. What do you think guys? Would you keep that? Would you eat that fish? Scale them, cut the head off, eat them all? I probably would. would. That's a good one. Go in the bucket. Go in the bucket. That's a good one. Jay, you're on the board with the first keeper. How does it make you feel? Oh, good. A I have relieved. a fish to eat. That's good. <laughs> oh yeah, you ain't getting my red ear. That's my fish. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh, your barber's gone. That's a nice one oh, too, wow. isn't it? What is that? What oh. is that? Is that a shiner? Oh. You got you a big old shiner? What is it? Oh, oh it is a big old shiner. I was just joking. <laughs> no. Man, what a cool fish though. They fight good. It's that's like for some sure. like some little mini swamp tarpons. <laughs> you get that deep side, they can just roll around. But, there you go. Hard to lip. They got tiny little mouths. Yeah, but you do not look appetizing. Nope. <laughs> He said, I look appetizing to a seven pound large male. Oh yeah. Well, now we've caught two shiners. I think that they're definitely responsible for all the fish we've been missing. Say that. Could be little guys too. Hey, Ooh. little, not too bad. That's a pretty one. Not too bad. Very next cast. That's a full colored bluegill right there. So pretty. He's a little bit smaller than the one we just kept, so we'll Ooh. send him back. Cause the one we kept was honestly a little bit more line, but definitely, definitely a work. Got him. Whoa. What are you doing, buddy? Video. Oh, How big is he? Oh, oh, he's good. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one, JJ. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Here's this little guy I just caught, tossing him back. Jay, I think, has much better plans for this one here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I said like, oh, yeah, like five times in a row, but. Hey, maybe that maybe, maybe looking on to you for repeating yourself. <laughs> you always give me a hard time for repeating myself. You can't help it sometimes. You can't help it. Voila. Nice. Now that <laughs> is a quality bluegill. Yes. Keeper every day of the week. Took a while, but we got him. Maybe this is the spot. Not the most beautiful bucket. I rate the inside of this bucket like a two out of ten. Looks kind of gross. But it holds water, <laughs> and that's the most important thing. I was gonna use a stringer. This makes life a lot easier. I gotta get some new buckets. Ooh, oh, what's whoa, that? Whoa, whoa. what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Whoa. What's that? Oh. What's that? He is fighting so hard. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, yeah. yeah yes. No, no, that felt nice. Yes, this is a really nice hybrid. Been trying to catch one all morning. Took a long time, but. Yeah. We're, we're, we're probably already like 30 fish deep at this point. Yeah. And we've only got, I think we have three keepers. This will be our fourth one. We've got two of these really nice bluegill red ear hybrids. Um, I think it's a hybrid. Seems like it. It looks doesn't, like doesn't it. Look, it doesn't look like a purebred red ear. No. It's a little bit too, too dark in my opinion, but. Anyways, he's got some thick slab sides. He smoked that night crawler and he's gonna go in the bucket to our newfound bucket. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. I wanna catch more this size because that, that fight was awesome. Just keep throwing it out there and I'm sure we'll weed through some more small ones and get some more big ones along the way. <laughs> Good job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, good one. There we go, Jay. That's another nice bluegill. Yeah, we moved back over to the spot where we first started, and that's a good one. My first cast back over here. Yeah, that's a definitely a really nice size bluegill. Let's add him into the bucket and let's get back to throwing over th over at those uh, logs and get some more good ones. <laughs> here we go, guys. The highs and lows. <laughs> oh gosh, of fishing in a swamp. I told you I was gonna break that. <laughs> she got hung up in that tree and pulled the whole tree down with her. Oh my goodness. Still kind of a mess, but it happens. Sometimes and, you get excited and you forget, like you got a tree right over your head. Yeah, but hey, at least you got it and you got that stick out of the way. So next time we sit underneath it, we won't hit it. Now I just gotta untangle this mess. I kid you not, guys. Next cast, <gasps> Jay is in another predicament. Hey, oh, I got it. She got it. She's ripping. 
She's ripping. No, my line was tangled around the tip of my rod, and I was like trying to get it undone, and then it went up in the tree. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> that'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. Decent one. Oh, there we go. There's me another keeper finally. Nice bluegill. I had another nice one on the cast before, and I think that they might be stacked up right there. So I'm gonna try to turn the canoe around. We can reach those fish a little better. We've gotten ourselves back here into some really tight quarters, but it seems like there's some fish chilling. Yep. Get out of that stick. Not a bad one. Is that a red ear? It's a red ear. Purebred. Purebred baby little red ear. Look at that. Beautiful little red ear. Where's his big daddy at? Might already be in our bucket, to be honest with you. We'll see you. Got him, begging, begging, Ooh. begging. Big red ear, nice. big red ear. There's his big daddy. That is a nice red ear bluegill hybrid. I do believe, look at that. He's got this weird chunk missing out of his gill plate. It's pretty crazy, but we just caught that small one in the cast of four. Asked where his big daddy was, and he said, I'm right here. <laughs> and now he's in there. Ooh. All right, guys, we just made a little move. This will be the last little area we're gonna fish today. Hopefully we'll find some. It's a little bit more open. We were getting bit by mosquitoes in the middle of all those trees, so we kind of got out here on the edge. But there is still some good shade. Oh, and Jay's already got a bite. She got him? Oh, yeah. Biggin. Got him. She's a decent one? Feels good. First cast. That was a good move. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, baby. Yeah. Good one. That was awesome. That might be my biggest bluegill of the day. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. First cast pulling up in the spot. Hopefully there's more. Hopefully they're all about that size, too. Yeah. You know, these fish, they'll sometimes get you know where they school up in the same size class and it seems like oh Ooh. the majority of the fish we were catching were all small i mean we caught a ton of little ones we obviously could, can't show you every little fish that we caught otherwise the video would be like three hours long hopefully we find some more big ones over here oh my gosh was that a bass? That was a bass that was crazy where's your poppers at holy smoke he didn't just smack it once either he came after that thing Something did. Oh, what is that? Is that, uh, that, is that a big fish? Another big bluegill. Whoa. Good one, Jay. Oh, I got one too. Oh, okay. missed him. Okay. Missed him. Got him. Nope. Missed him again. <laughs> this is a good spot. Yeah. Big cool. old bluegill. Add him in the bucket. Got him. Biggin. Biggin. Tubster. Big old bluegill. Jay, you got one too. Oh, oh missed him again. Big old bluegill. Ooh, he's purple. I know the coloration of these guys are weird. They look like cold water bluegill. He is kind of cold. He's got some kind of weird stuff. Looks kind of diseased. Hmm. I'm gonna throw him back. He's got some weird stuff going on down there. I say down there, he's got like these parasites and just weird stuff right there. But it's a cool fish. He's like super purple. Oh, oh, that looks thick. That's a good one. That looks thick. Ooh. Oh, a... <gasps> Oh, I love red ear. Red eared slider or red eared sunfish? <laughs> I like both. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Cool fish, dude. He's honestly not, he's a good size. We've kept some bluegill that big, but you know, red ear, they seem, they get bigger than bluegill. Yeah. So he's kind of small. He's not small. He's kind of medium for a red ear. So medium. maybe we'll let him go and let, let him get bigger for next year. Oh, he's so pretty. Got him. Got him. Feels pretty good, honestly. <laughs> kind of medium guy we might have one in there already that size but we'll throw some back we're looking to get one more good keeper whether it be a good bluegill or a good red ear or a good catfish <laughs> or whatever just one more good fish and then we're gonna head on in we've been out here for a while now and we've got a good mess of fish here in this bucket oh big something big something big something yes oh, nice. there we go all right, well, that is an excellent way to end our panfish fishing mission. We caught some really nice fish out here. We caught a bunch. We caught probably 50 all together, a ton of tiny ones, guys. Like, we caught some that were like that big, like, no <laughs> lie. But we did mix in some good ones like this right here. It's another good hybrid bluegill red ear. And um, we'll add them to the bucket. I think we probably got 10 or so, maybe a dozen. Oh, gosh. <laughs> in there right now. 
And um, overall, I'd say we had an excellent time catching these fish. Yeah. We caught them in a, in a pretty pretty good hurry. We were only out here a couple hours, so definitely have no complaints there. But we're gonna get these fish. We're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna get them cleaned up, and uh, we're actually gonna cook them up for lunch today. So we will see you guys whenever we get there. So if you've never cleaned a fish before, this is one of the easiest ways to prepare and clean a fish without wasting any meat. You just get a spoon or a knife. I usually prefer a spoon to get the scales off a lot easier. And you're just gonna rake them off from the tail to the head, just like this. You see they come off really, really easily. I guess you could technically leave the scales on and uh, eat around them, but I just feel like this, this is a better option. All right, so our fish is completely scaled. And then we'll just cut the head off. I like to cut right here at the vent right here and kind of cut at an angle up to the top of the head. Kind of work it around the head so you get all the meat. And so then what you're ultimately left with is this piece of fish right here. You have a whole scaleless fish with the head removed, the bones are inside of there. And what we're going to be doing is just frying this guy up. Um, we feel like leaving the bones in actually enhances the flavor of the fish. I mean, they're obviously really good, just filleted, um, boneless. Um, but this is just a fun way to eat fish. And if you're somebody that isn't really that good at cleaning fish, I'm um, not that good at filleting, you have to worry about you know missing out on some good meat. So that is one of our fish down. We've got about 10 more to go. Um, we'll wrap that up really quickly and then we'll get to cooking. All right, we are just about ready to start getting our fish ready to throw into the skillet. But first we gotta get them all battered up so they can come out nice and crispy once we're done frying them. You know, preparing fish whole and frying them this way is a little bit more of an ordeal than just simply um, just frying the fillets, but it's kind of like the trade-off, you know, it's easier to clean them this way, but a little bit more difficult to cook them, but you know, it is what it is and it's really gonna be all worth it in the end. So what I have here is two different bags of um, different flavored fish mixes. This one here is more of a Cajun. This one here is just actually just straight up yellow cornmeal. And I've actually already thrown my uh, my fish into this batter. So what we're gonna be doing, we're, we're gonna be double dipping, we're gonna be double battering these fish just so that they turn out really nice and crispy. There's been times whenever I've um, had fried whole fish or I've prepared it myself and it just didn't really come out crispy because I only battered it once. And um, you know, I've found that if you double batter it, you know, it's always going to come out nice and crispy, even though sometimes you can just do it once and it'd be crispy. But anyways, so here's our fish. It's kind of dripping some batter everywhere. It looks really nice. And so now that we have our fish battered for the first time, we need to go in for the second dip. But to do that, we first have to dunk it in this little mix right here. This is actually some eggs that I whisked up and I added a little bit of milk to it. And uh, we are going to be dunking this whole fish into there. I had to be careful not to spill it. And then we're going to be dunking it into the cornmeal and then that will go into the skillet with the oil. This is definitely the worst part of all this, but it's definitely worth it. There you go, just a little shallow dish, the egg whisk. And those of y'all have been watching for a while, you see that we do this all the time when we're cooking fish this way. And also when we're cooking like frog legs, maybe even deer meat, if we want that extra crisp. So we got him in there. Kind of shake them up a little bit. Got a plate right here. I'm actually going to take this guy out of the bag so there's plenty of room for the other ones. Let's see how it turned out. I like to grab him by the fin. Look at that right there. That looks very thickly battered. We'll sit here on this plate. And so now we just gotta repeat the steps again with the rest of these fish and we will be ready to fry them up. All right, we got everything all set up now. We've got the skillet with the oil all heated up and we have our fish all battered. And I think we're just about ready to sizzle. Let's, let's give it a little test. Oh yeah, we ready. It's hot. Let's get these guys in there. I think I can do, I don't know if I can do all five of them, but I can probably do four of them in there at once. And uh, it shouldn't take them too long, maybe three or four minutes tops. Cool. Okay, looks like they're about done. Oh, that looks perfect. I was able to get them all on here too. Oh, snap guys, those look fantastic. What you think, Jay? Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> they look so crunchy too. And 
Thank you for coming in clutch. Jay was gone. She went on a McDonald's run. She went and got a couple Big Macs and she, she didn't think that was going to be any good. And I did not get I'm, a couple Big Macs. I'm just kidding. She went and got us a drink. I got us some drinks. Here, drink hers, I think. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I got me a nice DP. Because mm. I'm thirsty. I've been wanting a DP all morning. And uh, I've also been wanting some fried whole readier mm. all morning. And I think they're going to be so good. Yeah, they look extra crunchy. They look hard as a rock. That's what you want. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want it to be all mushy. And that will happen from time to time if you just if you just batter them once you're more than likely going to have um, a soggy product you gotta batter it twice and you're more than likely going to have a nice crunchy, crunchy product and that's what you want in this way yes. you also want these fins crunchy so you can eat the fins but they're probably pretty hot but i think i'm just gonna go ahead and go for it i can't wait i'm starving <laughs> okay i'm gonna go with this guy right here i think i touched him like five or six times just then so i think it's destiny that i go with this one first so this is our fried whole bluegill radier hybrid specimen. And uh, what you're gonna wanna do first, if you've never had them this way, which I'm sure most of y'all have had them this way, you're gonna take these fins off. And gosh, he is hot. <laughs> Holy smokes, let me set them right here. Whew. Save the fins for later. You gotta save the fins for later. That is so hot. Might, we might need to rethink our life decisions at the moment. <laughs> that is, that's gonna burn the top of my tongue. Okay, then you have the tail. You can eat the tail. It's like eating a potato chip. It just tastes like the battery you fried it in. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that because that's probably not too hot. Yummy. Very crunchy, very tasty, very satisfying. Mm. If you think that that's weird, don't knock it till you try it, right, Joe? Right. Like, you gotta eat the tail if you fry fish whole. It's like so good. Mm. The fins are good too. But they're a little bit crunchy because they're kind of they're kind of spiny. But anyways, you can see once you remove the fin, you can see the two halves. These are like where your typical fillets are going to be whenever you, whenever you fillet the fish normally. And so you can use your hand. Well, that's kind of spicy. Wow. Or you can use a fork and peel it apart. Since it's so hot, we should probably be using a fork. But I don't have a fork, so we can use our hands. I'm just gonna look at that. See how it's separating right off that main spine. That is perfect. Now we gotta pick what side we want. We want this side. Jeez, that's hot. Okay. Whoop. All right, it came right off. And then you're gonna want to inspect it. Make sure there's not too many bones in there. Shouldn't be too many because it just fell right off. All right. That looks so good. Crunchy on the outside, white and flaky on the inside. Let's see how it tastes. Don't burn your tongue. Mm, no promises. <laughs> Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> that is so good. I knew it was gonna be good. It was a lot of it was a lot of effort. And like I said, it's a little bit more of an ordeal to prepare them this way to get them to be just right. But I'm telling you guys, it is so, so worth it. It's so delicious. Mmm. Jay, you gotta get in on some of this. This is delicious. Way better than that McChicken or that McDouble or Big Mac that you ate secretly at McDonald's. I know you, I know you got something. What'd you get? What'd you get? McChicken, there's no way you left there without getting a snack off the dollar menu. I got a hot and spicy McChicken. There it there is. The, it. the truth is out. She got a hot and spicy McChicken. It's okay. You can pre-game with a hot and spicy McChicken, but I'm still gonna eat the fish. I was just so hungry. <laughs> okay. You want the other? You want the other side of this one? Sure. Okay. All right. You got yourself a good piece. Is it hot? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. We got to get down to the bottom of this. Is it better than a McDonald's hot and spicy? Hmm. You should have waited, Jay. You should have just waited. We have all this fish. I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> mm. That's delicious. Is it better than the hot and spicy? Mm, yeah. Those, those hot and spicies are good though. They are. Like, let us know down in the comment section, what's your favorite thing off the McDonald's menu? Let me know. We don't eat McDonald's very often. We don't. There's, I knew you were hungry <laughs> and I was trying to get these done quickly. Yeah, I'm not judging you, Jay. I know, I know. I know the struggle of going through the McDonald's drive-thru and only getting a drink. And you're so hungry. And you're so hungry. But we got it done and we've got ourselves a whole platter here of fish to eat. We don't have any sides. Might need to figure out that, but I think we'll just eat this first and figure that out later. That's good. It's really good. 
Okay, well this is definitely a treat for today. Just feel so lucky and just happy we were able to get out there yeah. on the lake, out there on the edge of the swamp and in the swamp and uh, get some nice panfish to eat for lunch today. Although the mosquitoes tried to carry us off while we were out there, it was definitely worth it. It was a good time. It was I a had good a blast. Yeah, it's just, you know, bluegill fishing is always, it's always fun, but it, it can be more fun whenever you're in a cool environment like that. Like yeah. if you're just, you're staying on the bank and it's just like nothing really cool to look at, look at and you're just catching a little bluegill, it can be not as cool. But there's always just so much mystery and wonder whenever you're in the middle of a swamp mm -hmm. like that, especially when you don't ever know exactly what you could catch. Um, but yeah, we've got a whole platter here of fish we have left to consume. So we are going to do that right now and figure out probably some sides to go with this because I honestly forgot about all that. But anyways, we hope that y'all enjoyed hanging out with us today out there on the lake. If y'all enjoy these types of videos and you would like to see more, be sure to let us know down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future wild and crazy fishing adventures. We're, We're Colin and Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye guys.